Alrighty then, guys, I am back! Now, I did do a virus scan, deleted the virus that was interfering with everything, I even updated my computer, and everything should be fine, and if it's not, I will be severely pissed. Alright, you can stop prioritizing yourself. Okay, <clears throat> let us continue. Loot. Oh, I don't need that. Alright, it's something interesting to talk about this uh, dwarf corpse in a second. Let me out. I see you bear no love for Jarvia. Please, help me. Please. Alright. Stop it. Please, stranger. What now? Please, stranger. Let me out. What's uh, you bear no love for Jarvia. So many freaking people. Please. Thank you. We've been down here. It's been so long. My, my friend didn't make it. Just... Stopped eating one day, all for a stupid bed. Okay, so basically what this is about, <clears throat> this actually is the um, Dwarf Commoner storyline. Um, at some point in time during it, you get locked down here, and this actually is the corpse of the Dwarf Commoner Warden that could have been. <clears throat> now, I mentioned this, I believe, in all three of my playthroughs during the Ostagar incident. But basically, every single um, uh, warden exists. All all of the characters you could have created, stuff like that, um, they all exist. All the origin stories exist. So, it all is a matter of luck, really, when it comes down to which one survived. For some reason, our warden survived while the other ones didn't. But they had an equal chance of being the warden as well. It just so happened that we were the one that won. So yeah, your warden technically is in this game, guys. Just, you know, they're dead. My condolences. Fuck you. Alright. So I tried recording this set a few minutes ago. Well, a few hours ago. <laughs> um, but it, not even a minute into recording, it started acting up. Literally, right here it started freaking the fuck out on me. Pissed me off wildly. So I decided just to redo it. Fuck you. And shattered. Oh, nice. Nope. No, you don't, bastard. So yeah, it's been a little bit of time since I last uh, played this set. Uh, well, not, really, not last played this set, I should say. It's just been a while since I actually did anything. So I forgot what I said in previous sets. So, what I'm going to say. If I repeat something, forgive me. My memory just sucks eggs. Alright. Give me that. Give me that. This is for something, but I'm not entirely sure what. It's probably a quest. I know that much. Knock, knock. Raw lyrium. Ugh. That ain't good. God damn. Yes. Some attacks, I've discovered, can actually inflict a uh, injury on you, which is bad. So yeah, just keep track of what your stats say. Fuck you. I will go spider on your asses. Fuck you. Back the fuck off. Thank you, Shale. Or Zevron, whoever did it. Alright. God damn, the effects. We have much to do. Okay. Loot. Donkey Shin. Onwards. Okay, let's take a look at the map real quickly. I think. I think we need to go forward. I'm not 100 sure. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. All complete. Thank you. So what is down here in this lovely little abode? What manner of beast is this? Fucking knew it! Very well. I knew it was gonna be a room like this. 
with spiders in it ever since the freaking Mages College. Or Circle. This is a Skyrim. God damn it. No! 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 Fucking assholes! We good? We good. Onwards and upwards! Right, let's take a little peek at the room down the hall. But not go inside it. <laughs> okay. Save means that's the one we need to go through. Not going through there just yet. Instead, we'll go down over here. Fuck you! Nope! Is this really the right way, to, the way I need to go? Yeah, the room to the right is definitely the, uh, the room where What's Her Nuts is. And dead. Right, let's freeze both these guys. And shout out the bastard. Pronto. Gimme, gimme. Jammer's dash box. Lawbrow's cap. Okay. We need all those things probably to open that chest. Hmm. Okay then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Deep stalkers. Are oh, they cute little vicious monstrosities? Can I? I can if I want to. Tame. Okay. Let's go back here. That's the tame Bronto, I take it. Yep. Nah, I can't interact with it. Oh, that's disappointing. Give me that. Now let's go kill this bitch. Knock knock. So Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can't hold it. Yet he still doesn't bother to send his own men. Well, you picked the wrong side, stranger. It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen. Hardly convincing when your blades are covered in my men's blood. Kill them! But leave the mouthy one alive. I have plans for him. Enemies approaching. I was going to spare you, but you had to be a bitch. Well, kind of fuck you over, I guess. Alright. Transform! Oh, you really guys really shouldn't let me transform. Boop! Rawr! Oh, I missed! Oh, you get back here, bitch! I ain't done with you! Boop! Dead! God damn it, Zevron! There's a reason why I missed that! Alright, let's, let's loot this bitch. Okay. Logger cap, so you didn't need to do that quest to get it, apparently. Pushback strikers. Rogue weapon, not bad. <clears throat> or armor, I should say. And the key. Thank you, Shin. Hello. Perhaps I could have a try at that. If you'd be so kind, Zevron. I knew it. Could be easy. Now she actually can pick locks. Here I am. Pardon me? <laughs> Motherfucker! I'm okay! Finish. That was annoying. So now, if you really want to, you can exit quickly through this. 
But you don't have to. You can actually go around. I also chose the uh, not to do that. Hi. God, by all the beards of my ancestors, how did you? Where did you come from? You made a hole in my wall. It, it does? Oh, sod it. If people find out about this, my business will be ruined. They'll think I have something to do with Jarvia. How? Did you... You did, didn't you? You killed her, and then you climbed out of there into my shop. Oh, just leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with this. And if anyone comes asking, I'm going to tell them you get it. You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface stink, and she's like a cave tick. Let go. What? Do you even know what you've done? She's castless now. She can never marry, never work, and, and never be a part of this family again. Why the fuss? I'm sure the Circle Tower is full of parental figures just waiting to tell her what is best. My daughter is dead to me now. Leave my store. You're not welcome. Get out of here! The bad luck you are. Get out of here! Oh well, shit! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, that's a shop down Orzammar. Damn it! I'm sure I can get it back at some point in time. <laughs> Actually, I probably won't. Not my luck. Dad just won't do it. If I could. Alright, let's see if there's anything new for um, Shale since she leveled up. I'm, I'm, I'm only asking. Anything new? Shit, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's grab that, 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 that. That. I'm just gonna check out those shields later. Right, anything I can buy? Uh, what is shields current crystal? It is a clear ice. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Stuff I don't need. Okay. All right, we're good for now, at least. All right, so now we gotta go talk to Bedlin again. Okay, sure. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. Just as soon as it loads. There we are. Alright, so I need to find the Idukin house. This is Haramont. Don't want that. Idukin is, uh, here. Furious at the Grey Warden. I think anyway. Yeah. Hmm. 
No, I shouldn't do that. I was debating if I should do the deep roads now, or at the end of this part, or wait till next set. And if I do that, I'm going to put Shioko behind again. I don't want to do that. The next set is going to be us exploring the deep roads. <clears throat> as soon as we get everything ready, though. Do 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 do. So, all right, I killed the bitch. Give me my, give me my treaties. Well, you've simply outdone yourself. They're talking all over the city about how someone finally went through Dust Town and slaughtered the Carta like Genlocks. It's a little late to trouble yourself now. You have done the city a great service. I promise as soon as I take the throne, I will send the troops you need. I was hoping you'd say that. Killing Jarvia brought me greater favor. But to truly displace Harrowmont, we'll need something dramatic enough to end the debate forever. What do you know of the Paragon Bronco? Two years ago, she heard of something the Ancients created. It inspired her to leave everything behind, and venture into the Deep Roads. She is the only Paragon in four generations, and she turned her back on her responsibilities. The Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone with her support could take the throne unchallenged. So far, my men have traced Bronca to Caradon's Cross, an ancient crossroad lost to the Darkspawn four centuries ago. Her trail ends there. Perhaps with your Warden's expertise, you can find what my men could not. You have my thanks. Seek her in Caradon's Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the leveling up thing off-screen. Basically, why Bronca became a Paragon, or what Paragon is. Um, the Dwarves... <laughs> I love this, cause I love lore. Especially with uh, races like Dwarves. And Elves and stuff like that. So, the Dwarves worship the, their uh, dead ancestors. Um, they're close to gods, but not entirely. The whole belief is that they get... When they die, they return to the stone from which all they... From all they... From all Dwarves came from. And they become a part of their god. I, I think that's how I'm interpreting it properly. I think it's how it is, but I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> um, so they worship their ancestors as close to deities. A paragon is someone who does a service so great that the entire dwarven race has to give her res give that person respect. Bronca created a uh, new fuel source in smithing that does not uh, cause uh, smoke to come up. So it saved thousands upon or countless lives among the smithing cast. Uh, so she was elevated to the status of Paragon from that. So cool. So before we go down to find Bronca, we actually gotta uh, do one more thing, and then that'll be that. And it'll actually happen along the way to the Deep Roads, so... Yes. We also gained access to my favorite shortcut to getting out of, uh, out of Orzammar without having to go through the uh, opening room and the mountain outside. It saves just so much time. I'm fairly certain that anyone who's playing this game knows. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Although we did kind of show it off a little bit uh, earlier. Although I didn't use it that way. So he should be... There we go. So, you were serious before when you said you wanted to help Bronca, huh? I'm Ogryn, 
I don't know if you remember. People seem to forget me these days. Or ignore. I forget which. <laughs> I, I have. For all the sodding good it's done me. I'm the only one who still cares about her as a person. Everyone else thinks she's just a symbol they can leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I know what Bronco wanted, and how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin's scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. You should know that Bronco was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Carradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the Anvil. As far as anyone knows, the Anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronco planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Carradin's cross. No one's seen that tag for 500 years. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Okay, so we get Ogren, the dwarven drunk, pretty much. Pigeon crown. Uh -huh. He actually is a very good warrior. Um... He's also where you can learn how to get become a berserker, which is pretty much just I'm going to kill you, and you have no war, no offense or buts about it. All right, so this is how you get out of uh, Orzammar quickly. Just go to the deep roads, press triangle, and there you go. Makes him just so freaking easy, I swear. Um, anywho, that's going to be it for this set. Uh, I'm going to show you something pretty interesting, but uh, that's besides the point. Now, whenever a dwarf um, leaves the underground, or I believe sees the sky, they're instantly stricken as castless and they can't return to Orzammar. If they return to Orzammar, they get a brand on their face. Once Orgrim joins your party, he can leave whenever the hell he wants. See? Stop wasting time, Warden. I'm not here to chat. But yeah, he won't say a damn thing to you. Uh, you have to finish the Anvil of the Void quest before that even happens. Um, what's funny, though, is when you return to Orzammar, nothing happens. They don't give a flying fuck. So, yeah. Anywho, that's it for this set. I apologize sincerely for the glitchiness in the earlier parts. My computer was really, really freaking the fuck out. So, uh, hopefully I fixed that. But, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed the politics of Orzammar, because it was so much fun. And I'll see you guys in the next set, where we go to Deep Roads, where we will slaughter hordes and hordes and hordes of Darkspawn. <laughs> I'm looking so much forward to it. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hello, and thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this Let's Play, feel free to click one of the two links to take you to a new Let's Play. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.